Don't get caught without a plan. Here are the five D's of force protection. Hey everyone, Mike Witt here, again with Contech Industries, and today we're gonna do a quick little snippet or snapshot looking at the five Ds of force protection. So what is force protection? Force protection is a set of standards, regulations, and guidance that's given to sites such as military facilities, as well as nuclear and DOE facilities. Primarily, they're protecting against direct and kinetic acts of terrorism. The five Ds of force protection are deter, detect, deny, delay, and defend. Deterrence. One of the main things that people look at in deterrence and force protection is creating the image of being a hard target, right? So if you create a hard target image and you give overt, but also having covert means of protection immediately from a distance, whether it's through surveillance, whether they're scoping out your facility, they're gonna make note of all of the countermeasures that you have in place to prevent an attack. Some examples of this can be perimeter fencing, crash barriers, crash bollards, armored buildings, the list goes on. Those are some of the things that you're gonna put into your security plan and don't leave out, obviously most importantly, our over and covert surveillance systems. Next in the five Ds is detect. So this primarily focuses on the human aspect of actually having operators out there and actively surveying the threat area. In addition to that, technology, surveillance systems, that's really where the detect piece comes in. So having things such as thermal and visible camera systems, radar systems, intrusion detection systems, again, the list goes on, but that's one of the first things that you wanna be able to do is detect a potential threat. The more standoff, the more time you can buy yourself on preventing an attack, the better off you're gonna be. So having those surveillance systems and those detection features is crucial. The third D being deny. So in the deny portion of force protection, you're gonna put in your first layers of defense and actually denying an individual access to your facility. Again, this kind of goes back to presenting yourself as a hard target, but having things such as anti-cut, anti-climb uh, fencing, right? Uh, having crash uh, rated systems, whether they be wedges, barriers, bollards, things of that nature, you're now uh, denying a particular vehicle access to your, to your facility. As well as having uh, actual access control for personnel, right? Whether it's biometrics, RFID cards, things of that nature. Now you're scaling down and creating choke points for individuals to get into your facility. So creating that denial access uh, to your facility for personnel and vehicles is also crucial. The fourth D is delay, right? So once they get to that denial piece, you're still gonna have multiple layers within your facility that are gonna create additional delay from that personnel to getting to whatever asset that you have that you're trying to protect. Assets such as nuclear material, assets such as war machines, whether it be aircraft, ordnance, anything of that nature that you're looking to protect your facility, and obviously most importantly, personnel, right? You wanna create a delay, a set of delay features between your outer perimeter your denial features and ultimately where your asset is that you're trying to protect. Creating delays through fencing barbed wire, um, actually having additional um, security door systems depending on the layout of your facility. But the point is, is you wanna create as much standoff and as much time as possible. The more you can do, the better. And the fifth D of force protection is defend. Having a plan of defense once you are forced to actually defend yourself, your facility, whatever the case may be. So some things you wanna look at, and that is obviously having a well-trained guard force that knows how to react. If you don't have a well-trained force, I don't care what tools you have, you're not gonna be effective. Tools you do wanna look at, obviously weapon systems, optics, communication equipment, but also things such as weapons ports, ballistic doors, anything that you get to that final denial phase and you have your force to defend at that point, um, you wanna look at things like that that are actually gonna allow you to either neutralize the enemy and it's no longer gonna be a threat, or at least be able to defend yourself long enough for additional resources to come onto your facility to help you neutralize the threat that you're engaging. So with that, that was a quick introduction to the five Ds of force protection. If you have any question, please give us a shout at contactindustries.com or shoot us an email at info at contactindustries.com and we look forward to hearing from you soon. Thanks.